I'm Chip East with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System, and I've got Dr. Meredith Schrader and Shane Harris, and we're in Tallapoosa County, and we're talking about these cicadas. Uh, Dr. Schrader, here you've got the cicadas. Tell us a little bit about these. Yes, these are wonderful little creatures. Um, they come out every 13 years, so it's a, a big event for them to spend 13 years underground and then just a couple weeks with us every every so often. And so they're different from the annual cicada that most people are uh, familiar with. They come out, they spend most of their time as a nymph, yes. and then they emerge and have the wings and they crawl up trees they do the as a nymph they feed on the roots of trees and they don't really damage the tree that way um, which most people are concerned about is what what is this critter doing but when they're in the ground as nymphs feeding on the the sap and the juice from the root and then they crawl up as a nymph and that's what people see stuck to the sides of the trees vehicles, houses, and that's when these guys pop out of that um, kind of the exoskeleton from the nymph. That's what scares people, the, the great numbers that they are. That's But true. they're harmless. They go up in a tree. They make this, what's this noise we're hearing? Um, it's, it's the serenade of love. <laughs> <laughs> the males are the ones that are calling in the girls um, and they gather in, in thousands and you can hear them and they just are calling the, the girls in and, and this is kind of a, a reproductive strategy for them. They come out in the thousands and they'll sacrifice a, a few um, that'll be eaten by squirrels, raccoons, dogs, cats, um, but overall hundreds will make it to reproduce. Well, so they go up in a tree, the males make this noise, attract to mate. After they mate, the females, how many days before she can lay lays eggs? Um, well, that's a, that is a good point, is these guys don't come out ready to lay eggs. They need to go through a maturation process, and then, they, of course, they have to go on a couple dates, and then they pick a, a specific twig on the tree, and there's some... Um, some specifics they look for. Uh, the pencil width or shape um, twig, and she that's what she needs the soft wood to then lay eggs into. And that's when these guys are, are damaging the trees. It's the female is doing the damage, the damage by laying the eggs. She damages the tree, lays the eggs, and then the new batch of cicadas cool feed on the xylem? Yes, the, the eggs will hatch. She might lay 500, 500 per little one of these guys. And so sometimes the damage can be significant, but it won't kill mature trees. Uh, saplings, it might ding them a little bit more, but as those eggs hatch, they'll feed on the xylem the female exposed when she was laying the eggs. And then they'll feed on that for a couple days up to a week and then they'll actually fall down to the ground. And then they'll burrow into the ground, find a nice root to hang out on for the next 13 years. It's good to know they don't damage the trees in yes. the forest. Well, they're neat little critters to uh, to learn about and it's fun to play with them and yes. kids like them. And yes, and, and that's an another good point is if, if you have a, a child who's skittish around insects or you know, is being introduced to the woods or, you know, our ecosystems. This is a great way to get them more familiar with insects. This is harmless. You can look at its wings, its legs, and and just get introduced to a, a harmless, fun, right. fun critter. Dr. Schrader, thank you so much for joining us today and teaching us about these amazing insects. We appreciate you coming out and look forward to doing this again in 13 years. You're welcome. I've been out here all week looking for cicadas. I haven't found any yet. You mean I'm gonna have to wait another 13 years to see these periodical cicadas?